Title I Annual Meeting, a Collaborative Presentation, Department of Federal and State Programs in Title I Schools. Purpose of Title I Meeting. The Every Student Succeed Act a federal law requires Title I schools to hold an annual meeting to explain and discuss the school's Title I programs, parent rights, and other school requirements. Families are encouraged to ask questions and make suggestions to help improve the school's Title I program. What is Title I? Title I is part of a federal law that grants money to select schools to help meet students' educational needs and goals, provide staff with professional development, and support school and family partnerships. How does a school become Title I? Eligibility for 2023-24 school year. District analyzes income data, free and reduced lunch, direct certification, District sets eligibility thresholds based on federal and state laws, 70% for elementary, middle, and combination schools, 67% for high schools. What does it mean for our school? Additional funds to support students, teachers, and families. These funds are over and above what the district provides. Funds concentrated in instruction for students professional development for our teachers, and activities to strengthen our partnership with families. What does it mean for our school? Rights for parents and families to be informed and involved. Title I annual meeting, decision-making committees, parents' right to be involved, parents and family engagement plan, school parent compact, parents' right to know notifications and surveys. School-wide Title I programs, all students benefit, all teachers benefit, all families benefit. Our school-wide plan, better known as SWIP, is available on our Title I section of our school website. It includes comprehensive needs assessment, activities to support needs, parent and family engagement plan, also known as PFIP, and the narrative components. Title I focus, to meet our expected outcomes, we're using this year's Title I funds for the following. Teaching positions, extended learning opportunities, such as after school and instructional pullout and push in support, technology and supplies. Oof. We are also using this year's funds for many parent family trainings that are offered multiple times throughout the year and professional development opportunities for our teachers. Parent and family engagement. Research shows that when parents and family members are involved, students are more likely to be successful. Parent and family engagement plan, also known as the PFIP. It describes how we involve families in students' education, written with the input of our school's families and staff during the stakeholder input meeting, shared during SAC to review and revise as needed, and PFIP summaries are available on our school website for all families under the Title I section. Parent trainings. Through the Title I funding, we offer several parent trainings that are listed in this PowerPoint understanding the new state standards, and understanding graduation requirements. School Parent Compact. Each Title I school must have a school parent compact that is written by parents, family members, and school personnel. The School Parent Compact sets out the responsibilities of the students, parents, family members, and school staff in striving to raise student achievement. School Parent Compact for Atlanta Community High School is located under the Title I section on our school website. Parents' Right to Know. Families have the right to ask about the professional qualifications of their child's teachers and if non-teacher personnel are providing instruction to their child, and if so, their professional qualifications. 
Families must be informed if their child is taught for four or more weeks by a teacher who does not meet the certification requirements for the grade level or subject being taught and how their child performed on state tests like FSA, EOCs, and SSA. Migrant Education Programs. The goal of the MEP is to assist all migrant students in meeting challenging academic standards and achieving graduation from high school or a GED program with an education that prepares them for responsible citizenship, further learning, and productive employment. The first step is to find all migrant students. Interviews are done in person by a training MEP recruiter using federal and state eligibility requirements. For more information, please contact the Multicultural Department at the school district. The information is located in the PowerPoint, which will be under our Title I section on our school website. Students experiencing homelessness, every student has the right to an education. The McKinney-Vento Homeless Education Program, or MVP team, can help students and families who are experiencing homelessness. Every school has a McKinney-Vento contact person and a signed McKinney-Vento program case manager who works with families. For more information, please contact the school and we will provide the services that are needed. Here is the contact information for students experiencing homelessness. The MVP contact information is listed within this PowerPoint. This concludes our annual Title I meeting. The presentation will be posted on our school's website. And for any further information, questions, or comments, please contact Mrs. Williams, Assistant Principal, 11th grade, in charge of Title I. Please complete the evaluation and leave it with your teacher. Thank you and have a great evening.